friends, welcome back to the channel. My name's Tony and this is the Mighty Jimny where I'll be taking you on my West Australian outdoor and camping adventures. Today I'm down at Tim's Thicket, a really popular and fantastic four-wheel drive beach about an hour to an hour and a half south of Perth. And uh, what I'm gonna be doing is starting to film a short series about what I take camping with respect to the Suzuki Jimny. Now micro overlanding, exactly what it sounds like, space is a premium. So I'll go through the products that I use and how I set my car up for uh, my overlanding and camping experiences and I'll give an honest opinion about what I like and dislike about my current kit setup and what I'm probably going to replace in the future. So today what I'm going to do is go through my swag and shelter setup and how I set my sleeping arrangements up and everything like that. So stay tuned, go grab yourself for beer, I'll do all the hard work and enjoy. Radio guys, so straight away there's the swag up there. I use the Titan Double Ridge um, swag and it is a big old bad boy. The size of it's probably a bit too big. In the future, my plan is to actually replace this with one of the king size single uh, swags using the stretcher. Um, I reckon the combination of those two will actually be roughly about the same weight as what the big double swag is, but at this stage, um, it won't take as much floor space up on the actual roof as well. And also for aerodynamics and wind and whatnot, it's gonna make it much easier to actually cart this piece of kit around. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get that bad boy down and then we're gonna go over it. All right, as you can see here, I've got the uh, Titan Double Ridge uh, swag. Now, this is quite a large swag. Uh, as you can see, it actually takes up considerably more uh, amount of the roof space on top of the Ginny than I probably would like. But uh, look, it is a very comfortable swag and the quality of the canvas and the PVC on the bottom is actually top notch. Good sturdy uh, construction with the, the D shackles on there. Um, they're not too bad at all. Plan in the future is to actually go a king size single swag and then actually have the stretcher to get myself up off the ground as well with it. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and set this one up and then uh, we can see exactly what it looks like um, as we go ahead. Now, the main thing as well with these is with all swags, when you do decide to buy one, make sure that you season it properly. Now, seasoning a swag sounds a bit funny, but what you're actually doing it is setting it up in your backyard and hitting it with the hose a few times until all of the stitching swells up and then um, closes up all of those little holes that are where the, uh, the heavy duty sewing machine is punched through. Now, one of the things that people forget to do is if they don't season them properly and then they decide to go out for a camping trip in the rain, um, all the rain will actually get in. So what you need to do is set it up in your backyard, hit it with the hose until, and let it dry and do that two or three times. Um, once you've done that, you'll actually start noticing that no water will actually start uh, getting inside the sleeping compartment as well. All right, so that's the buckles undone. Uh, it's still a bit of red dirt from the last time I went out camping. Uh, so let's get this set up and um, I'll go through the various parts of the swag. Okay, you can see that the swag's all unrolled. On the inside, you've got your poles, as well as you've got a little baggie with all your uh, tent pegs and your uh, cordage to be able to set it up properly. So the first thing that you're gonna do with these, right, is you're gonna grab your poles. All right, and these ones use a curved, uh, I think it's got a nine and a half mil uh, pole setup, and then you've got your central pole as well. So with these ones, all right, the way I like to do it, set them up, and you pass them through the canvas parts first. Click them down. Do a couple there. And do a couple there. All right, that just helps hold it in place. Now, push it through a little bit. You'll see on the end here, you've got like a little peg. That slides in the end on that one. Then you come over and do the same on the other. Now, it will bend up quite a lot. Don't worry, you're not gonna break it. And that's one side there, pretty much done. Put the last couple in. repeat on 
the other side. Once you've done that, I'll start doing the uh, central pole and we'll see how it looks. All right, with both ends done now, I'm gonna start putting this central pole in. So the way that this one works, okay, is they just slide together like that and you've got a little cam lock slider on this other end. So pretty straightforward, what you do, push that bad boy up there like that, and then you grab this one. Okay, that gives you your basic shape. Flip your cam lock down and then you push it out. Okay, once you've got it out there, you've got it into the spot that you want it just kind of hold it there with your thumb and then flip your cam lock back up so as you can see it's already taken shape pretty well um, and there's a series of little tabs and whatnot that you fix it to the top once I've done that and I've got everything there I'll use the pegs and I'll start putting into place Alrighty. as you can see here all done up okay opening up this fly which is on both sides like I said, very popular four wheel drive feed. Inside you can see here that uh, I've got a big double inflated mattress in here and, uh, and a sleeping bag that I've already folded out. Now I usually use another small sleeping bag in here. It just makes things uh, a little nicer and, uh, and whatnot there. So it's really good. Now for the most part, the pros of a uh, swag like this Look, the size means that if you're going with your uh, with your kids or significant other or any of those kinds of things, um, then you can fit two uh, people in here very, very comfortably. That being said though, it is a big bad boy and it uh, takes up a lot of space. So in regards to the Suzuki Jimny, it's probably not the best option out there. Um, and like I said before, my plan is to actually get a smaller option, but in particular, one with a stretcher now the reason why i want to go one with a stretcher first off uh it's easier to get in and out of but second of all all right is this reason here getting crap all over your uh all, all over your swag's always a bit of a pain and you've got to clean it off every time if you can keep that swag up off of the ground uh, it actually causes uh, less damage to your swag and also it means that you're going to be a little bit more comfortable overall one of the other things as well is generally speaking you're going to be a bit warmer because you're up off that cold wet ground as well all right so uh, this is the swag all done next up i'm going to do the batwing awning now this is something that i've been asked a lot about so i'll go through the full setup of the batwing awning it's a great little piece of kit stand by righto legends okay so this here is the rhino rack batwing compact bit of a mouthful okay this is uh, one of the first things that i put on the car um, back when i got it in early 2019 i've spoken briefly about it but a uh, fantastic piece of kit and i'm going to go through the full setup of it right now one of the good things about it, it's actually easier to put up than the uh, standard uh, side pull type ones um, and it actually gives a hell of a lot more um, shelter. So I'll go through the way that this all goes together and you can watch in real time how this is done. All right. Okay, so the best part about the Batwing uh, Compact is how quick it is actually to put together. So you can see here, all you do is you uh, undo the straps just on the other side here. And just all the way along. And flip it up. Underneath, you've got these three tabs. Now they come apart pretty quickly. Alright, and as you can see, it starts to unfold from there. Alright, so you can see just here, you've got the end piece. Now these are all magnetised. So as you can see, they just fold out quite easily. All right, there's no latches, no little pulleys, no clips, nothing. So you just do that, and these push all the way around. Okay, as these come around, you've got a little fair lead just up on the roof rack there. Okay, and that secures this point just here. Here, the other side of this strap, give that a pull. Right, and it pulls it all nice and tight. Now underneath, you start setting your poles up. So this one here, as it comes down, little twist, extend, and she's good to go. Once again, just lift these up. And they'll go. And you can see that this sets up, like this has been relatively real time. Obviously, I'm editing a little bit. Okay, and that's good to go. So, a little bit of editing there in regards to changing shots and whatnot, but that took me maybe two, maybe three minutes maximum. Like, it's, it's really a very, very quick setup, um, and you're doing it far quicker than some of the other ones, and the stability of this piece of kit is absolutely fantastic. 
I'm really hard to fault this piece of kit. Uh, there are other options out there, but I'm really hard to fault it. Alrighty, so what I've got here is the uh, extension piece for the Rhino Rack Batwing. So this actually uh, is a piece that will zip onto uh, the edge here, okay? And it gives me just that little bit extra when it goes down. So I'll quickly show you how that works. Now inside, hey boys, Inside you'll find the actual uh, extension piece, but you've also got some extra poles. Now what these can be used for, rather than just a side wall, you can actually set it up to be an actual extra uh, extension to the awning itself. So the awning can be bloody massive actually. Now um, when I do this part, what I'll usually do is not actually use the poles. I'll just bring it straight down here and most of the time I'll actually throw my swag straight underneath it. But today what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to throw it straight down here and show you how that one's done. Alright, so these are tapered and they can only go on one way. You can see up here, it goes into the zip. Hold it in place while you get it in the spot. And then, it's literally just zip straight on so so as you can see it's a really good piece of kit now i'm just going to peg this one down obviously there's a bit of a breeze around and whatnot so i peg it down to make sure it's in the right spot All right, so that's it for this episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and there's going to be more content coming real soon. Um, stand by for the next episode. Now, in episode two of What I Take Camping, I'm going to go over my camping uh, cooking set, as well as the camp furniture that I use. In, uh, in particular, the new... Um, front runner underslung table the stainless steel table that I've got uh, going over my cooking set including the jet boil um, and also a brand new gas mate as well so uh, stand by for that one um, really good uh, show coming up and uh, thanks very much again all right enjoy and uh, I'm gonna uh, start getting the rest of the gear out Hey guys, Uncle Tony here. Um, just a disclaimer, I'm not supported by any of the products that uh, I've shown you today. These are products that I've bought for myself, so any opinions on them are my own, and uh, any uh, reviews that I do are completely honest and transparent. Alright, thanks very much. Cheers guys.